Hello, GWFM here and welcome to the FM Scout YouTube channel. Today we are going to show you the best way to get yourself a job should you decide to start unemployed on FM17. Before we do that though, I would just like to point you in the direction of my channel. Uh, I currently have a, a Let's Play called Life at Leeds and I've, we have just finished Season 1 um, and I'd be over the moon if you could take the time to check it out. But back onto this video um, and what we're doing is I'm just going to show you uh, by example we're going to be like using the bottom stats and it's trying to get a you know a job and show you how to answer questions in interviews uh, a lot of people probably know how to do it but some people might struggle they might think uh, they're saying the right thing and they're wondering why they're not getting anything uh, there's a couple of different reasons as to why which we'll come into shortly but first of all just for this little like, like showcase um, We've got the list of leagues that we've loaded up here. You can have less, more or less, whatever you want to do. Uh, but I just thought we've got a, a wide variety of countries there, so you've got more chance of getting uh, jobs that are suited to our level. Moving on to what our attributes are. This is if you want to start right at the very bottom. Uh, this is just what I put on uh, on my coaching attributes for this uh, particular experiment, if you like. And um, you know, adaptability. I think you have to use um, so you, you've got more chance of getting a job elsewhere. Uh, like in another country. So this is the the home page and as you can see we're currently employed and there's a hell of a lot of jobs down the middle um, that are up for grabs however you can't expect to apply for all these especially with our current attributes. Obviously the, the more attributes you've got and the better setups that you've got uh, the more chance you have of getting the better job roles. Um, you know like for instance there is Wolfsburg here um, who you know they're a, a three and a half star reputation team uh, now ideally you're gonna have to have like some sort of attributes that sort of match that reputation but all in all you probably are going to struggle to get a job there uh, more for the reason of your reputation isn't high enough let alone what your stats are another team that you might have a look at might be Wolverhampton Wanderers um, three star reputation uh, we're not going to be looking at these jobs because our attributes and reputation do not give us the chance at all of getting this job. A couple of teams that you would be able to probably get a hold of, uh, Cardiff Metropolitan University, uh, they are like literally half a star team and they are amateur in terms of a professional status so that's probably a good one to start off with. Uh, Dundella Football Club is another one, they're semi-professional but of course they are a half a star reputation um, part of the Irish um, Northern Irish Telegraph Championship. But we're going to apply for six jobs all in all just for this test and we've got Sterling Ab Albion Football Club uh, who are a one star team so you know, there's a slight chance you can get that job. Uh, you've got Metro uh, Cardiff Metropolitan University, you know, to apply for that one. Galway United will apply for that, it's a one and a half star uh, reputation team. Dundella Football Club as mentioned before, we're going to go and apply for the job role there. Newry City AFC, again, a half star uh, regional reputation. And Grimsby Town Football Club, just to like, give you an indication, like they're League 2, so it's fairly low level in the English game, uh, but they are a professional team. But again, a, a one and a half star reputation. First of all, we've got some responses from our applications, and just to show you that Galway United and Grimsby Town have both rejected our application. That is because of our our reputation and their reputation it doesn't match basically but the, the we're seen as too low in stature if you like however Cardiff Metropolitan University have offered us a job interview um, so we are going to go into our first interview and it's a few different things that you can see sometimes um, you know, get a few different um, questions every time so we'll start with Cardiff Metropolitan University so the border please uh, that we've taken our time to attend today which is like you've already got the one option so it's obvious you just say let's get down to business and this can you explain why you appear to be in the running for a few jobs right now now the last one it sounds a bit harsh and you're probably going to put off uh, the chairman it looks like you're going to be a bit of uh, um, a bit rude if you like uh, I don't think it's an un unreasonable number of clubs to be talking to it, again it's say it's basically saying that their concerns, which is clearly one of their concerns, you know, you're just disagreeing with them. So they're going to think he's just going to disagree with us. The best one I think is I'm merely considering my options. I think it's the best one to choose in this situation. The club is looking to hire a manager comfortable working with limited resources. Are you that manager? Now, if you go for the middle one, I guess I'm in, in for the challenge, and that's like having a little bit of a dig, in my opinion. 
Um, it says I'm looking forward to it, which, which kind of, you know, gives it a, a good standing afterwards. But it's also said I'm guessing I'm for a challenge. It's, it's basically saying it's going to be tough. Um, and it says if we all focus on playing football, everything else will sort itself over, over time. Basically, you're just ignoring the facts that finances are going to be tough. So it, it's to them, it makes it look like you're not capable of doing it. So I always go, I know I'll be able to look after the club's finances if given the job. That's what I would go for. Are there any philosophies that you would like to propose to judge you on if you were appointed as manager? Now, I'm not going to go through all these, but uh, the one thing I will say is at the top, we'll come into it later on because there is another one later. Um, they are opposed to developing players using the club's youth system. So if there was anything on there that had a, a red bar, I would not choose it because obviously it's gonna, it's against what they want to do. In that particular instance, I would go, I have no philosophy is that I would want to be judged on if given the job, which is the one at the bottom. Then it says, if hired, we would expect you to secure survival and avoid relegation. Is that fair or do you think you could do even better? Now, that is entirely up to you. I would imagine that, that the higher that you say that you're gonna finish, the more likely they are gonna give you the job, but you've also gotta back that up. Now, in this instance, with Cardi Metropolitan University, they are the sole amateur team, I believe, in that in the Welsh Premier Football League. So it's going to be a massive task to keep them up. Um, so, in that, with those circumstances, I would say, if given the job, I would be able to meet the expectation of avoiding relegation. Then you're giving yourself every opportunity um, of keeping your job, basically. Then they ask you, do you have anything to request for us to consider should we decide to hire you? And you've got a few options there. I think, I don't think you should be demanding anything. Personally, this is my point of view. Uh, straight away, I think you've got to get your feet under the table first before you ask any of these things. But I would go if I have no request to propose. And then they say that's just about covers everything and the review, um, the process, etc, etc. And they'll be in touch soon. So after that, obviously we've got like one interview under his belt. Uh, I'm just going to have a look now at why we probably got overlooked by Grimsby Town to start off with. They appointed Peter Taylor. Now if we have a look at his attributes here you can see he's a hell of a lot better and his reputation is just shy of two stars which kind of goes hand in hand with Grimsby Town uh, albeit they're one and a half stars so that's the best like sort of calibre manager based on attributes that they could have got really. So there was no way we we're going to compete against someone like him. Reiterating uh, what I've just said, you look at our reputation, it's it's like a little slither of yellow of reputation. Um, and obviously his attributes speak for themselves with the ones everywhere. So we do get a approached by Cardiff Met Uni and uh, we're offered no wage. It's an amateur club, so we don't get paid anything. Now, if you want to play realism, you probably won't take it, but it's nice to have this as a last resort if you can't get anything else. So I'm going to choose to delay the decision, uh, which they accept. I'll be in touch in a week's time. The second team that we got rejected by was Galway United. Uh, they hired Cook, Mick Cook, uh, as manager. So we're going to have a look at him now and see why they look for look at him rather than us. And again, you, you look at his attributes and they are very, very good. Just less one star, but that's probably as low down as I want to go in terms of reputation. But yeah, he's, he's, he's far better than us in terms of our attributes uh, in comparison. So then we've got uh, another interview, this time it's with Sterling Albion Football Club. Uh, now this team is a one star reputation team, uh, they're a semi-professional club uh, and they've been around for a, a quite a long time, 1945. So this is probably our limit in this particular instance with our current uh, attributes set up. Um, so let's have a look and see what we can do in this interview. We do, we do also have an interview with Dundella Football Club but we'll have a look at that one afterwards. So Sterling Albion Football Club, the board are pleased that you have taken the time to attend today. The usual sort of um, question that you get asked to start off with and I'm glad you've given me the chance to talk to the club. Let's get down to business. So you never managed a club before, so this is a new question. Um, why is that and why should I overlook that fact? You've got a few here that sound a bit rude basically. You've got, if you believe I'm the right person for the job, my lack of club experience shouldn't matter. It's like telling them how to do their job. Uh, the second one down, I would have hurt my reputation. Says it all, doesn't it? We've got half a stand in this instance. Now, you might be able to get, um, get a job using that one, but it, for me, it just smells a lot of arrogance. And a lot of chairmen, I would imagine, don't like arrogant people. The one I go for is I've been waiting for the right opportunity to take my first steps into club football. Just straight to the point, 
It's not rude, and basically, it's, it's kind of an honest answer. Can you explain why you appear to be in the running for a few jobs right now? You get asked this again, and it's I'm merely considering my options. We understand the importance of having the right backroom team in place when a manager moves to a new club, so we're willing to allow you to request any changes that you would like to make to our current backroom team uh, and what sort of budget we'd be looking for to make these changes. Now, I don't think you could I don't think you really should be saying anything in the interview. I think you wait while you get the job before you start making changes. So for me, uh, I just go, I don't wish to propose any changes in advance of taking on the role, so no budget will be required. Uh, that would be my option, so one at the bottom. Are there any job aspects which you would like us to judge you on if you are appointed as manager? Now, as you can see here, we've got um, an in favour of Green. Uh, sign young players for the first team. So whenever you see them, for me, you've got to agree with them. Just say, I would like to be allowed to sign a large number of youngsters who will play a role in the first team squad. Is there anything else which you would like us to judge you on if you're appointed as a manager? Again, it's not really going to help your chances just by adding extra things, just to avoid any of the red ones and aim for the, the green ones if you see them. So I have no further philosophies that I want to be judged on if given the role. Should you be hired, the expectation is for the club to chance for a playoff berth. Is that fair? Or do you think you can improve that somewhat? Now this team is one that's looking to get promoted and um, the options that you've got is the existing one, or if given the job, I think I can do slightly better. There's been proposed and gained promotion by winning the league title. Now bear in mind, that's giving you no scope whatsoever. You've got to finish top and that's it. So for me, I'd say if given the job, I think that challenging for a player spot is a suitable expectation to achieve. Then we want to, would a proposed transfer budget of 20k be sufficient should you get the job? And again, there's ways that you can use this to your advantage. If you think 20k is more than enough uh, and you, you can just choose the existing budget then go straight down the middle uh, it's a realistic transfer budget or if you think that you're not really going to be able to spend that money anyway give yourself you know you say you're happy to work with a slightly smaller transfer budget uh, than that if a party manager the funds could be better invested in other areas rather than being spent in the transfer market now in the lower leagues you're probably not going to be able to buy any players outright because usually the wages get taken over however if you do have the 20k in this instance, you can transfer that all into the wages so you can allow yourself to sign some more free transfers. Um, it depends which way you want to go, uh, but in, if you want to increase your chances of getting a job, you could always go for I'd happily work with a slightly smaller transfer budget than a appointed manager. But on, the in, on this particular instance, I think the proposed transfer budget is realistic and give me the funds needed to bring the squad up to scratch if hired. Uh, that one is decent for this one as well. I know this to be true because I've got a personal save which I started unemployed and I am actually still at Albion Football Club uh, on my own personal save. A wage budget of 4k is an offer should you get the job. What do you think of the proposed figure? Again, don't go too much into you know messing things around. I'd, I'd just keep it exactly the same. Give you the best chance of bringing extra players because wages are more, probably more important sometimes than the transfer budget, especially the lower league. Keeping it simple I think is the best way. Do you have anything to request for us to consider should we decide to hire you? Again, leave it until you get the job. I don't want to be making demands or anything like that uh, straight away before I've even got the job, should I say. Uh, so just I have no request to propose. And that is how the uh, that interview ends. The Dundellif interview, I won't go into too much into detail, but it was pretty much exactly the same in terms of what they wanted. Uh, in terms of questions, the only thing that was different was the philosophies were slightly different where they didn't have any green um, so it was pretty much exactly the same but we, we went roughly the same sort of route so I won't go too much into detail on Dundella. We also got an interview from Newry City and again every single question pretty much was exactly the same uh, this time the philosophers didn't have any red or green so it was just basically just agree with everything that they say. So after all the interviews uh, we had kind of met Newry uh, approaches again and again just in case we got rejected because we didn't know at this time I chose to delay again, so they, they, they are willing to delay, I know that in particular. Uh, but then eventually the, jo the job that you're most likely to want, which is the one star reputation team as opposed to the half star ones, uh, the ones that are more likely to pay you more as well, still in Albion, do approaches uh, showing that we are going to get the job. Um, you can try and get yourself a bit more wage, but again £250 per week is a quite respectable start. Uh, to your career. Uh, on the 11-month contract you can't increase that unfortunately you've got to earn uh, a contract extension. We accepted the offer and we are now in the Sterling Albion hot seat. Yeah so just remembering what you need to do, yeah, your philosophy is that we agreed to sign your place for the first team. Obviously they can uh, have a you know have words with you if you don't do that. 
Uh, so just try and do the best you can um, from then on. But that is probably the best way that I can advise you to get your, your first job. Obviously, like I say, it scales in terms of how, how you set your attributes. You know, the, the better attributes that you have, the, the better teams you'll be able to, to go for. Um, you know, at, we were a Sunday League footballer, your reputation might be, you know, a world class striker or whatever it is that you can select at the beginning. Uh, and that'll probably give you a better chance of getting the, the better roles. But uh, th that's hopefully been able to help you in terms of getting your first job for those who might struggle with interviews. Um, I know a lot of people probably just take over clubs anyway. But it's something else that you might be able to have a look at. Um, but before we go, I'd like to remind you to have a look at the FM Scout website. There's lots of guides, tricks, tips, uh, downloads, you know, all the kit packs, face packs, etc, etc. Um, yeah, you'd be mad not to, to check it out and also don't forget to subscribe to the FM Scout YouTube channel drop a like as well and yeah hopefully you join us uh, next time but I've been GW and I'll see you then